Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Y'all ain't letting me off the hook with this one, bro. So, uh, thanks for all the support on my last couple of videos. I know out of the ordinary, bro. It's just, it's just I gotta get these, I gotta get these thoughts out there. That's why I'm making these videos. And for some reason, y'all just keep supplying me with fucking content. So I'm keep going. But y'all remember this gym from yesterday? He was talking about outriders and how Game Pass made outriders fail. Even though millions of people are supposed to buy games, it gets worse, bro. So another man, somebody sent me a screenshot today, and another man right here, Tiger. Welcome to the channel, bro. Add you to the collection. He's he's exactly what I described yesterday in my video. If you ain't watched my video yesterday, go watch it and then come back. But I was saying that PlayStation fans blaming Game Pass for the game, but then they talk about how bad it was and that it launched in Game Pass day and date, and they use it as a W for Sony. Exhibit fucking A. Two Square Enix releases. Worm released exclusively on PS5. One day one on Game Pass. One sold 3.5 million copies in three days. The other unprofitable after four months after release date. You love to see it. But these are the same men that support the devs, right? The these are these are your kings, bro. These are the PlayStation fans that made Outriders fail. <laughs> Cause us in Game Pass, we got to play it for the free. So even if we didn't buy it, we gave them what they wanted, and that was an active player base, and they got it. The game was bad, yes, it wasn't it wasn't horrible, it wasn't good, but like, come on now. And PlayStation fans laughed at it and probably didn't buy it. He probably didn't buy it either. Tiger, just like other dude, Ghost of Tsushima, who's gonna buy Ghost of Tsushima again. You know he is. PlayStation fans love to buy games over. But uh he talked about 3.5 million in three days. The two games and what the game that he's talking about is Final Fantasy 7 remake a game of a game that was already created a game that you can play in Game Pass no I think it just left the original version was in Game Pass <laughs> so we could play Final Fantasy 7 too but oh Final Fantasy 7 remake was timed exclusive to PlayStation that exclusivity window ended it can show up on Xbox and at any day, in any month, at any freaking junction, they can have a show and put Final Fantasy Remake up. Like, oh, it's coming to Xbox, and it might come to Game Pass Day 1. Who knows? We don't know. But yeah, Final Fantasy VII launched timed exclusive to PlayStation for, what, two years? They had a two-year exclusive deal with Square Enix, and everybody that loved Final Fantasy VII and Cloud and Tifa and them, they went to go buy the fucking game, because why? It was... It looked damn fucking good. It wasn't 8-bit pixels no more. Like, it looked like a fucking AAA game. And they took the turn-based out. They made it action RPG. They re they redefined a remake by the difference that they did in this Final Fantasy VII. Nobody's talking down on Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was an amazing fucking game. But you can't compare Final Fantasy VII Remake, which already had a fan base, to come buy the game. It probably would have sold that much and been trash. But people bought the game because they wanted to play it to see how it looked good. Now, compared to back in PlayStation 2 era, but if the game was bad, then they would have sold 3.5 million copies of PlayStation and nobody would have played the fucking game. But it was good, so more people kept buying the fucking game because they're already fans of the game. And then they made new fans. That's the thing. Outriders was a brand new thing. It was a looting, shooting, mass multiplayer game that was supposed to be scoring his next big thing after they just failed with Avengers, which is another mass multiplayer looting fighting thing that failed. Like, come on now, bro. And yeah, launched in Game Pass day one. But it went on every other platform for money. And it failed. Why didn't it sell 3.5 million in day one if it was on PlayStation 2? Why, why, why didn't it sell? Sony had it. PlayStation 4 had this game. It didn't sell. PlayStation 5 had this game. It didn't make 3.5 million from y'all. Y'all y'all did it to Final Fantasy 7. Why couldn't y'all do that to Outriders? But oh, is an Xbox problem? Why? Because Xbox got it for free. <laughs> God, this is their logic, bro. You can't get you can't get around this. And they just keep making they just keep making these posts. Because people like us are gonna make videos on it. And I need to stop, but I can't help it, bro. Like that that logic makes no sense. 
like if your favorite game like mass effect the mass effect trilogy just got remastered and put on the next on this generation of console and i bought it again even though i have all three discs back there in the trilogy bundle and i have all three digital on xbox one backwards compatibility and then i bought the fucking remastered version why because i was already a fan why not that's exactly what final fantasy 7 fans did and they're gloating about it because oh it was on playstation 4 and not on xbox and it did good <laughs> it's fucking dumb bro square enix made money on both of those games the devs got shit on for outriders from what they're saying in that article but come on now, bro. This is really your logic. Sad. <laughs> Just sad. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this up. But uh, that's going to be it. I'm, I don't want to talk about this too long. There's not much else to say. Brody just sounds stupid. And when the game come to Game Pass, when Final Fantasy VII Remake come to Game Pass, then what? Because it's probably not going to be exclusive to PlayStation forever unless PlayStation has a clause that it doesn't come to Game Pass like they did with Resident Evil 7. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you all for all the support, though, all the new subs. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all in the next video.